A sign of the times is up for sale, valued at at least 2,000 pounds, more than $3,000. It's one of many items the collapsed bank Lehman Brothers has sent off to go under the hammer at Christie's auction house to raise money to pay Lehman's creditors. The most expensive work, Andreas Gursky's large photo of the teeming New York Mercantile Exchange, is valued at up to 150,000 pounds, more than $200,000. That'll be sold separately next month. There are some pricey works set to go in Wednesday's auction, though, including Gary Hume's painting Madonna. Although there'll be more than just paintings, bids will be welcome on furniture and other objects from Lehman's European headquarters as well. And Christie's director, William Porter, notes some will suit those looking to spend hundreds rather than thousands. I think what makes it unique is the, the broad range of works on offer, um, from contemporary to old masters. And indeed, from a price range point of view, at auction, you've got everything from £200 up to £100,000. So there's something for everyone in this sale. And according to Porter, the pieces on offer, which include old masters like Samuel Waters, who painted in the 19th century, have a significance beyond the company's final troubles. He says it all adds up to far more than just the story of Lehman's folly. The bankruptcy of Lehman some two years ago in September 2008 does give this, this collection an infamy um, and was very well publicised at the time. However, I think the collection itself transcends that uh, and there are some very interesting works that really reflect the history of Lehman's, not just the last two years. Still, even if the Christie's auction and a similar one at Sotheby's in New York Saturday managed to raise millions, it'll likely only come to a fraction of the $613 billion in debts Lehman held when it collapsed. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.